Hey guys, today I'm going to review this uh, Tria motion sensor. I wanted to order one motion sensor and uh, I looked at uh, different motion sensors and their prices. And uh, I first I wanted to buy the Xiaomi motion sensor, but the, uh, the problem with them is that to connect them with the internet, you need a um, hub a gateway uh, and then they will connect with it. And gateway itself is costlier than a single motion sensor. So that's why I decided not to buy the Xiaomi one and instead bought this Toya one, T-U-Y-A. I call it Toya. I don't know what its name is. It's, I think, a Chinese company and uh, they make smart products, all kinds of smart products. And the best thing about this one is that I don't need a gateway or a hub to connect it with uh, internet and with my mobile device. The best thing about uh, this one is that I don't need a gateway or a hub to connect it with, with the internet and then my device. I just need a single motion sensor and then I can use it without buying any extra hardware, a gateway or a hub. So that's why I bought this one. It has a 12 meters range on front on almost, I think, uh, 45 degrees here, 45 degrees here, I think 45 or 25 degrees. So like these, my hands and anything in front. And this is its range and uh, I think that's enough uh, for many use cases and uh, so I bought this one and uh, I'm going to let's open it up and I'm going to share how my experience is. I'm also going to share uh, integrated with the app and uh, show you how it works with the app in action as well. So we have this tiny little motion sensor well rounded. This is its infrared bulb that it uses to detect a human or uh, an animal and what is what else is here and we have some screws if you want to install it somewhere <coughs> permanently then we have double tape if you want to paste it somewhere and lastly we have this uh, user manual that we, you will need to set it up if you come to it back you can see that there are no batteries inside and that requires two AAA batteries and uh, you can use the micro USB this micro USB if uh, you install two AAA rechargeable batteries then you can use this micro USB to recharge those, ba those batteries but it does not have a battery inside it and if you don't uh, want to install the rechargeable cells because they are a bit costlier than uh, obviously the non rechargeable ones then you can just live with the non rechargeable cells as well and other than that it's pretty standard nothing extraordinary here you can just twist it and it becomes normal sensor you can put it like this paste it somewhere to permanently install it you have the screws and everything so yeah uh, now let me install some uh, AAA batteries inside it and set it up with my mobile phone and show you how it looks inside the app and then I will do a live demo as well so let's set it up and okay so i have set it up with my uh to your smart app uh, you you will you can search the app on play store or app store it's called to by the name of this brand and uh, once you install it go to the add device then select sensors and uh, then it will guide you how to set it up uh it's quite easy uh, uh especially following this user manual that they have sent it with that but it's pretty standard how you set up a smart device in here you can see that I have a motion sensor in front of me. If I click on it and uh, go inside it, it, it says that right, it is in a motion detection mode, like it, it has already detected a human status, uh, which is correct because uh, it, it's, I am sitting in front of it. So it is obviously has detected it. And uh, it sends you a notification with a push notification through the internet. But if you would like those messages to be delivered with the uh, uh sms or call then you have uh, these options as well on the right but you will have to buy a separate package for that and uh, you can see all these records whenever when it detected everything and uh, uh, you can go to smart features the smart features are that it can work with other uh, smart appliances as well your uh, ac your smart lights and everything for example when you open the door and it detects uh, the motion and then you can set it up uh, to turn on the lights and AC or heater or something so it has those kind of smart features as well uh, and if you go to the set you can see battery status which is 82% motion alarm low battery alarm 
these kind of features so overall pretty standard for uh, a motion detector and uh, you can access it with a single smart app Toya and which uh, you can use to other uh, install uh, other Toya smart appliances as well and uh, gadgets so overall I think it's really good app uh, well built one now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go out put it on some place and then I will come back to it and show you how it detects and triggers the alarm so let's go hey guys so I have put my motion sensor on the right side of this uh, small little room we have here and uh, now I'm going to walk in front of it and let's see if it picks up my motion and I have my device as well on which it will trigger the alarm by sending a push notification so let's see light has turned on which means it has detected me and let's see if it sends the motion alarm okay there we are so it was a bit delayed but i did receive it and you should be able to hear my sound as well okay, if i unlock it and bring it up you can see that human motion sensor someone passed by please pay attention so i did receive the alarm as well so it works like advertised all right so this was our to your smart sensor you have seen it in action you have seen its app and everything so let me know what you think i will leave the link to buy this one in my video description i think it cost me around 15 dollars 15 to 20 dollars and i i will find some links and leave them in my video description for anyone interested and please do share your feedback take great care of yourself bye